Hi again, guys. It's Thomas. Welcome to Minecraft in a Hurry. And today I'm covering Ars Elemental, which is an add-on to the magic mod Ars Nouveau. Disclaimer, I'll be putting a bunch of info on screen, just to make this quicker for you. First of all, you've got new glyphs to cast spells as arcing and homing projectiles, and then some filter glyphs for advanced people, but let's not go into those. The fun glyphs include Watery Grave, which disables swimming to drown the target, and Conjure Terrain, which generates dirt and other ground materials. Then there are the two attack glyphs Poison Spores and Discharge, which are to Earth and Air, while Cold Snap and Flare are to Water and Fire. Of course there are also a few others to play around with. This mod also introduces two familiars in the Siren and Flare Cannon. Like the Whirly Sprig generates nature loot, and the Drigme generates mob-related loot, the Siren generates aquatic loot through the use of its shrine. First, find a Siren in a warm ocean and offer to Sea Pickle. It will jump and leave behind some Siren shards to craft a Siren charm with. Use the charm on a block of Prismarine in the water to summon the Siren and create the shrine. Then pop a chest next to the shrine and provide it some source. Random fishing loot will appear in the chest, based on how diverse the Siren's aquarium is. The Flare Cannon, on the other hand, can be used as a sentry with fiery homing attacks. Use the Flare Cannon charm on the ground. Describe a patrol route with the Dominion Wand, and it will attack mobs that draw near with homing projectiles. You can change its appearance with Magma Blocks and Soul Sand, and if it dies you can resurrect it with Blaze Powder or Magma Cream, so go nuts building an army of them. They are also both summonable and give the listed perks. The focuses are divided into four lesser and five major. The lesser foci are cheaper and easier to craft earlier, but weaken the other elements in various ways. The major foci don't have this drawback, have additional advantages, and there's even a fifth element available, anima, in the focus of necromancy. Many focus effects include powering up attacks, gaining mana in certain environments, or changing your summon spells in surprising ways. There are four new armor sets based on the old Arcanist's armor, each of them amplifying elemental glyphs of the matching school passively and, frankly, they look pretty fly as well. Furthermore, damage from the matching element is reduced, gives mana regen, and if the full set is worn, that reduced damage is also converted into mana. Elemental armor seems to come with all upgrade slots open, but you can still upgrade the armor in the enchanting apparatus like you can with base armors, although I can't find any differences. Ars Elemental adds one piece of magical equipment in the Enchanter's Horn. The horn is basically the equivalent to the Ars Nouveau Caster's Wand for arc projectiles, up until version 1.19, where it can be charged when used to increase the AoE of the spell and, at full charge, affects the caster and nearby entities. There are five bangles added, the Enchanter's Bangle, and one each for the four elements. The bangles boost damage from the appropriate elemental school and add debuffs to enemies when you attack them. They also imbue you with passive buffs, sometimes related to your environment. Several items to help in magical automation have also been added. The Advanced Spell Prism allows you to aim magic at a specific block, rather than just a direction, and allows the use of lenses that augment the magical projectile. Elemental turrets trigger the combos from elemental foci, as well as discounting the spell if a same element glyph is included. There's also the Urn of Endless Waters, which you can link to a cauldron, refilling it infinitely from a distance, at the cost of some source. This may just be a side note, but the Flash Pine, which you may need for certain recipes, doesn't drop from chopping down a flashing archwood tree. Instead, it grows off the tree's trunk like a cocoa bean. I didn't see any fruit when I bone mealed a tree, so you may have to find a wild one or plant them on the tree trunk like you do with cocoa beans. Anyway, that's most of the mod. There may be some minor items and blocks I left out for the sake of brevity, but the in-game book will answer most of your questions. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment, all that good stuff that keeps me glued to my YouTube dashboard, and I'll leave you with a few spell recipes that you may have fun with. Ta-ta!